Hello and welcome back to another session of our ongoing series on TAE certification training. In this session, we will continue to explore critical considerations, this time focusing on development and QA processes. The aspects of the development and quality assurance processes are vital components to consider whenever we are designing um, our test automation architecture. The ones we will go through today are test execution control requirements, reporting requirements, role and access rights, and established tool landscape. While this list is not exhaustive, it serves as a sample of the important aspects. Uh, we'll take the same example of e-commerce site tech shop as in the last session. So the scenario is that imagine you are a part of a team responsible for testing an e-commerce website called tech shop. Your goal is to ensure that the website functions flawlessly and provides an excellent shopping experience for users. Okay, first let's talk about test execution control requirements. Depending on the desired level of automation for the TAA, it should support interactive test execution, batch mode test execution, and fully automated test execution. Now let's have a look at our example uh, for this specific consideration and let's see how it applies to our example. The first one, interactive test execution by human testers mimicking user actions. So in this scenario, you as a tester simulate the actions of a user. You visit the website and um, add items to the shopping cart, proceed to checkout and make a purchase. You observe how the website responds to each step, ensuring that everything works as expected. Next one is batch mode for running multiple automated tests in sequence. Imagine that your team has a pack of automated tests that run together in batch mode. These tests cover various aspects such as product search, payment processing, and user account management. The TAA executes these tests automatically checking for any issues across different parts of the website. And the third one is fully automated testing where tests run without human intervention. Let's say every night the TAA initiates a fully automated test run. It performs a comprehensive set of tests without any human intervention. These tests cover everything from login functionality to placing orders. In the morning, you receive a report detailing the results, including any errors or performance issues detected. Next, we have reporting requirements. The TAA must be capable of accommodating various reporting needs, which may include fixed reports. Now, fixed reports are predefined reports that offer consistent uh, standardized information. Next, we have parameterized reports. These reports allow you to customize reports based on a specific criteria or uh, filters. This flexibility is particularly valuable when you need tailored insights. Lastly, let's discuss defined reports. These are structured reports that uh, present test results in a specific format. They ensure that uh, results are presented consistently and comprehensively. Reports should be available in different formats and layouts as required. The ability to generate these reports in different formats and layouts is essential for effectively communicating test results to various stakeholders. Uh, it ensures that everyone gets the information they need in a format that suits their requirements. Okay, now let's uh, have a look at the example. Fixed reports generated automatically with daily statistics. So each morning, uh, let's say a fixed report is generated automatically. It provides essential data like the number of user visits, the most popular products, and sales figures for the previous day. This report follows a consistent format and layout. 
parameterized reports created on request for specific analysis. So um, in this scenario, let's say once a month, you request a parameterized report to analyze user behavior during a special sale event. You specify the date range and regions you want to include in the report, and the TAA generates the report with the requested data, allowing you to assess the event success. Now, the last one is define test reports after each automated test run displaying results. Results. So after each automated test run, a defined test report is generated. It presents test results in a standardized format showing pass or fail status for each test case, detailed error messages, and performance metrics. Okay, next we have role and access rights. Depending on the security requirements, the TAA may be required to provide a role and access rights system. A role and access rights system provides a structured and secure way to manage user access. It protects uh, sensitive data and it also meets compliance standards. So it's an essential consideration, especially in environments where security is very, very important. Next, uh, let's have a look at the example. So your team consists of various members uh, as part of the tech shop project, including testers, developers, and project managers. To, min to maintain security, the TAA enforces role-based access control. In this scenario, let's say testers have access to the testing environment and reports. While developers, um, they have, uh, they can only access the code repository, and the project managers can view reports and monitor progress, but they can't modify tests or code. Let's now discuss the importance of the established tool landscape and integration within your test automation architecture. Various tools are used in the software development and quality assurance process, including SUT project management tools, test management tools, code and test repository tools, defect tracking tools, incident management tools, and risk analysis tools. The TAA should seamlessly integrate with these established tools to facilitate efficient workflows. Test scripts should be stored and versioned similar to SUT code to maintain consistency in the revision process for both. In summary, a well-integrated tool landscape supported by your TAA, it streamlines your development and testing efforts, it enhances collaboration and maintains data consistency throughout the entire process. For TechShop example, uh, let's say your team uses several tools to manage the project and testing uh, processes. So we'll take few uh, tools as an example. Of course, uh, there are other tools as well which can be used. Project management tool. So Jira is used for project management, tracking tasks, and managing project timelines for this specific project. Next, we have test management tool. So TestRail helps organize test cases, plan test runs, and track test results. Code repository tool. Git is used to store and version control the website's uh, source code. Next, we have defect tracking tool. So you use a Bugzilla to record and manage any defects found during testing. Incident management tool. If any critical incidents occur during testing, they are logged and tracked in service view. And last, we have risk analysis tool. So commercial risk assessment tools or any in-house tools like spreadsheets can be used to create customized risk assessment templates. Now, the TAA seamlessly integrates with these tools. For example, if uh, a critical defect is identified during automated testing, the TAA creates a bug report in Bugzilla automatically. This streamlines the defect resolution process as developers can immediately access the information they need to address the issue. Additionally, all test scripts 
are stored and versioned alongside the website source code in Git. This ensures that any changes made to the code or tests are well documented and traceable, maintaining consistency and transparency in the software development and testing processes. In this scenario, the alignment of test execution control, reporting requirements, role and access rights, and integrated with established tools ensures that testing is efficient, secure, and well-documented, and ultimately leading to a high-quality e-commerce website for users to enjoy. Thank you for joining me today for this session on development and QA considerations. In our next session, we will begin a new section, which is test automation solution development. Happy testing, and I will catch up with you in our next session.